Yo, good morning, Reaper team. What's up? It's December 7th. Captain Zach and I, we got the boys down below. Go black fishing again, guys. So excited. It's my new absolute favorite. The fishing's been good. We're getting late in the year. It's uh, almost time to put the boat away, so hopefully we have a good day. I'll see you guys down in the cockpit. It's really rough out here. Uh, they were forecasting 15 to, to not even 20 knots. It's every bit of 20 to 25 with gusts to 30 out here. Uh, I don't know if you can see the, the white water. It's nasty. Guys, it took me almost an hour and a half to get set on the wreck. Um, th this is not, not my expertise. My expertise, in my opinion, is, is catching tuna. Uh, I'm getting better at the anchoring, but today is just so hard. Zach and I at some point are going to have to learn the double anchor system. So we're going to practice, uh, but today's not the day to practice. So um, we're just kind of swinging on and off the piece right now. Eric just got a real nice keeper female. Um, so we're just going to kind of stick it out here. The weather's supposed to get a little better. Uh, we'll see, guys. It's nasty out here. Nasty. Oh, yeah. That's a nice one, dude. Yeah. Real pretty. All right, what you got there, E? Good old white legger. Big old white legger, right? Cut him in half, take off his legs. Bring so him a nice eight pounder. So I like, I'm a leg guy. I like leaving the legs on there. I know you are. Eight legs. <laughs> Fair dude. weather fishing. Dude, guys. Oh, <laughs> guys, the only two guys on a whole boat not sick right now are Zachy and I. <laughs> I feel great, man. Oh, bud, he's getting you, huh? Zachy's getting fit pretty good. Yeah, picking you good. Was that a whole crab? Whole crab. Are those places that you bouncing? Oh, that's it, Zachy! baby. Oh, that's that's a him. Winner. That's a winner, Zach. Come on, baby, be a tog. Yeah. Twenty-eight inch sea bass. You can say a sea bass. That looks like a decent one, Zach. Dude, he was playing with you forever, bub. Yeah. Nice, nice male. Oh, buddy here. See him, Captain Zach. Oh yeah, he's pretty. Oh, oh, Zach, he got mugged. <laughs> yeah. That's a good. A reaper team, these, these togs are, are really, really good. Um, they're down there eating mostly mussels, other crustaceans, lobster. Um, so you are what you eat, right? They're really, really tasty. So we, we take some of these home for the table. You know, I was reading, you know, when they, get, um, when they get the, you know, when they have that peppered appearance to the fillets? Yeah. That's when they're eating mussels. Yeah, the black I did not know that, yeah. They when they're blue. Yeah, the outside one's blue, it's because of the mussels. That's mussels, okay. Yeah. Interesting, yeah, I didn't know that. I got him. That rod's pretty good. He'll tell you, he's bending. So let's see, what do you got, Bob? Got a snafu rig. Snafu, all right. It's a 60 pound shock leader, Seaguar shock leader. Got a 60 pound fluorocarbon. Snout got on it. Two. So you basically have, so the 60, and then you have a dropper loop. Dropper loop. Right? And then to there, another dropper loop to your snafu. Yeah. Right? Well, the, the dropper loop's part of the snafu. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then what do you got? A 10 ounce weight? On just the overhand loop knot, right? There you go. So yeah, team, the, there's so many different rigs that people use. Um, e likes that snafu rig. 
I actually rigged up a couple slider rigs today that I might try. Um, I haven't used them yet. Uh, we'll see if I even put a rod in the water right now. Uh, I'm just trying to kind of make sure everybody stays safe and whatnot. Um, I usually just use a single hook rig though. So just a single dropper loop with just one hook and then, a, and then an overhand loop at the bottom. Um, but then last week they really wanted on, off that dropper loop a little short maybe five inch leader um, just so that the bait lays a little better um, so we'll see today they, they seem to like the snafu both Zach and Eric are using it and right now they seem to have a preference of white leggers versus uh, green crab so it's important to come out here with with specifically when this water gets colder both greens and whites um, so we'll see guys there's a couple already in the boat uh, it's just real tough conditions right now hopefully it gets better and I can get us on this piece a little bit better or be able to move around but man all right so this year I've really bumped up my game for tog fishing I've alluded in prior videos it's not my expertise really just getting into it these last couple seasons I did not grow up doing it as a kid I mostly did you know tuna fishing shark fishing and then really just fluke and striped bass fishing so it's relatively new to me uh, but I've changed the rig a little bit you know what I was doing was very simple so I was just doing you know 40 or 50 pound mono to that you just tie a hundred or 150 pound barrel swivel varying lengths and then a single dropper and then just an overhand loop for the weight uh, this is just the way that I was taught and what I've been using for years uh, but just starting on that last trip where I got that just about seven pounder so what I started doing was at the recommendation of Captain Zach and the con, thanks Captain Mark, uh, I started adding a leader to that dropper loop, all right? So what I'm doing, and I'm varying the lengths of this as well, is I'm taking 40 or 50 pound mono, and this is only about 4 to 5 inch length. Uh, occasionally I'm making them a little longer upwards of uh, 6 to 8 inches. And really all it is, team, it's just a double overhand loop on one side, and then this is the slider rig. This has been huge, and this has led me to really start catching bigger fish and increasing the success ratio. So what it is, it's a it's a hook on the bottom, and then the one above it can slide. And all you do is you just take the leader, put it through the first hook, and then you tie on the second one. And you can do an improved clinch. Some guys snell. I just do an improved clinch. And then what you do is you take each hook and you put it through. A different socket on the crab so you actually have two hooks in the crab so I think it increases your hookup ratio and it's led to me catching you know more and bigger fish so really cool and then all you do is it's really the same rig so again 150 pound barrel swivel 40 or 50 pound mono a dropper loop and then at the bottom is just a single overhand loop to loop your weight on and then on that top dropper loop all you do is you take the top part of your little leader which is a double overhand loop and you just do a loop to loop so you just put that loop through you know your single dropper loop and then you pull your your leader out the side and then what you can see is now you have a little bit of a lay on that leader so I think what happens is that weight sits like this and then that that crab slowly sinks down and it it really has a chance to sit on its own on the bottom and I think that's what's working but yeah since I switch over to this slider rig uh, man a, a seven a seven nine and you're gonna see team in the very next hog video 11 pounds even so stand by so right here Zach is actually hooked up to a fish that ran him down into the wreck when this happens what you really want to do is every now and then just give that fish some line be patient Every now and then that oh, fish will go ahead and just God, swim dude. himself right out of the wreck. Yeah, and Zach that actually happens him. here. So good job, Zach. Wow, look at that. So guys, that's the Zach, Zach had a breakaway sinker rig there. It's a fat one, dude. He's got a good that rod bending, baby. Doesn't have teeth, does it? Dog kind of teeth. Yeah. Oh, nice one, he. Yeah. Nice male. Nice male. Fatty. That's a nice proper one. Get up here. Devil. 
Yeah, nice one, guys. One of these days, I'll get these togs figured out. Takes a long time. Yeah, right? Yo guys, I got a good one. Yep, I got a good one, dude. Whoa, guys, I can't move them. Whoa, I got a good one, guys. Guys, I got a good one. Oh, Zach, you got one. I, I'm gonna ease away from the wreck now. Yeah, guys, grab that net. I'm pretty sure it's a good one. Come on, baby, stay glued. Stay glued. Stay glued, baby. Come on, stay glued. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's a good one. Woo! Woo! That one's gonna go 10, I think, baby. That's a double digit. Right I think there. that's my first double digit that's tug. A double digit. <laughs> dude, he nailed it. Look at that, dude. And dude, that's barely got him hooked. Look how wide that tail is. Woo! Yeah, baby. That's my personal best. We beat last week, baby. Definitely better quality at, at you know. And there's not a ton of quality quantity here, but they're here, baby. Guys, look at the teeth. I barely, barely had them hooked. I knew it right away, too. I saw it, too. Yup, you saw it. Yes. Come here, you devil. Yeah, baby. Get him, There's one, guys. He's on. Took us a little while, but they're getting going. Yeah. What's that, bub? Got him. Oh, you got him, eh? Yeah. That looks like a heifer. That looks like a good knee. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Rob Ben, baby. Any me. Woo. Oh, that's another good one. All right, you got him. It's a swinger. Man, I got three big ones. It's a nice fat one, dude. Oh, ho, ho, I saw that, Zach. That looks like a good one. He's digging. Oh, yeah, bud. This one, dude. Did, yeah, yeah. That one, guys. Pretty. Yeah. One yeah, more than baby time. <laughs> Is it really? You got four keepers? Yeah. yeah Zach, he's killing it. Yeah, I don't want to leave this spot. Yeah, we're finally, we're finally actually fishing. Life, yeah. I agree. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, dude. Nice Another nice one. Jesus, 18 inches. <laughs> yeah, that's probably 20. Size. Yeah, man, there's nice ones here. Dude, that's a nice one too, eh? Yeah, they're all nice. Yeah, make sure you hold him up. Slippery bass. Slippery bass. I call him slippery Ooh. bass for nothing. Man, pretty one. Look at his eye. He's got a bad yeah, eyeball. Got yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, hey. I saw that, baby. I think you got me. Movie time. <laughs> oh, just missing. Eric, so this is what you do, man. You put thing. a big crab on, you drive it down. And oh you my it. god. Look at that grin, guys. That's Female, a nice one. Count. I got five just like this. Yeah. <laughs> See, beautiful New Jersey Tog. You want me to get the TV ready for you guys? Right, so that's your limit, right, yeah. eh? Yeah, he's limited yeah. out. That's what, like, Zachy, you're only one short? Yeah. yeah. The rest of us, what did I get? One or two keeps? Just the one? Just the one. Just the one. Oh, hey, I saw that, oh bud. God. I saw that. Man, Eric's on fire, guys. He is the man today. Tog Whisperer. That's another good one. He is on fire today, guys. On fire. Another oh God, fat another, female. Another, another, yeah, 
bit. Go, Davey! Oh, yeah, Davey! Oh, oh Davey! Oh, Davey! Oh, Slacker. <laughs> I slacked it a little off there. Oh! Ah! Oh, we seen it! We seen it! Oh, Dave. Oh, yeah, look at you getting bit. Oh, that was a good bite there, Zach. Got him? Zach's on. Zach, There it is. Get him, Chris. Oh, that's a nice one. Alright, feels a little. Nice, Chris. Feels a little. That's a little guy. I got him now. I got him. Little guy? Yeah, that's a little one. I got him though. I'm pumped. Just glad I hooked him. Oh, that's probably the smallest one of the day. There he is. There he is, Maddie. There he is, Maddie. I got him out of it. Yeah, dude, that's a good one, Matt. Oh, he's a oh no, he brought you in. No, he no, he's not. Dude, Matt's got a monster, dude. Get your lines out. Yeah. yeah. It's not a tuna. <laughs> oh! oh, that was a big one. Sorry, Maddie. I think I foul hooked this one. Oh, Matt. That's a heartbreaker, dude. Zachy's got a good one. <laughs> Zachy's got a good one, guys. Okay. All right. Oh no, he's a nice one. Nice girl. That's a nice one, dude. I did break off. Yeah, that's a good one, dude. Fatty, dude. Get him! Get him, Dave! Get him, Dave! There you go. Slow and steady, baby. Slow and steady. Rod's bending pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Come on, baby. Oh, nice! No, it's a togger! Fuck yeah! Get him in the boat! Yeah! Woohoo! Get his tea tog! Woohoo! All right, that's a keep, dude. Good job, bud. <laughs> that shit. Come on, Maddie. Come on, Maddie. Come on, Maddie. Nah, this is, I don't even think this is a caper. Oh my god. <laughs> Fourth corner! Woo oh my word, so look it took, at that thing. That on? Short, yeah, short. you're on. So it took me uh, about five and a half hours, six hours <laughs> for my first fish, and it's a beautiful 11 incher. That's the spot. That thing ain't 11 inches. That one's smaller. <laughs> smaller oh, yeah, I got a good measuring tape. It might be a nice one, eh? It's so oh yeah, that's a good one, hey. Nice male. Look at that pretty one. Whoa, yeah, guys. I love that rust. Yeah. Hey, how many keepers is that for you now, bud? Nine keepers. Wow. Yeah, no, uh, none of yours are, are like measuring. Not a single one you've kept. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that one, dude. That one's so pretty. Oh, you did a slider? Yeah. Yeah, a little rust color. I love it when they get that. Oh, yeah. Oh, What the hell was that? What'd you do? I dropped him in the That was funny. I thought you threw him from that high. I was like, what are you doing here? Get him, Chris! You got the song! Proper fishing in my spot. I got wheeled all the way over there. Oh, that's a nice one. That'll keep. Keep? Nice, uh -huh. nice mail. Is that it? No, I don't oh, think so. Bitches! Oh, there's five of us. Yeah, there's five of us, dude. Nice mail. Yeah, beautiful fish. All right. Yes, just a good. Good togging day. Hey, bud. We're gonna eat you, pal. Sorry, but I'm a little higher in the food chain than you. And you're damn good to eat. Get him, oh, get him, Dave! Woo! Snagged it. I hooked him. It's all right, it's a fish. Oh, Dave, you got me. 
That's okay, you got me. Get your fish. Don't worry about me. I put a little slack in there. Oh yeah, there you go. 17 and a half. Keep. Oh, get him, Maddie! That's, That's a good one, dude. On, That's up. a good one. Yeah, bud. Keeper. Not you, but keeper. Yeah. You got a rust on him. Yeah. Finally, you keeper, Maddie. Pretty Finally. one. Finally. Jesus. Man, Pretty good. one. Thank you. Seven hours. <laughs> Second fish. They're all good. Hey, you got a slippery one, eh? Those are all. Oh. They're all good sized fish for sure, man. Absolutely. I don't think he's a keep though. Yeah, actually he's tugging pretty good. Finally walloped it, baby. Not a caper, that's a caper. That's a caper. Reaper team, we are done. It's about 3.30. Excellent day on the Todd Grounds team. Uh, it was real, real tough in the morning. Super rough, blowing every bit of 30 knots, uh, which was not forecasted, so. Man, I had a couple temper tantrums up here trying to set this anchor. Um, this boat's really hard to get anchored. It just sails a lot with this big fly bridge. Um, but we finally got it done on the first wreck. And then the second wreck, I actually landed right on it. Boom, one shot, one kill. And that one's even smaller. Um, but the ocean's a little bit nicer now. We ended the day with 21 real nice tog, guys. Um, all, all real nice fish. Uh, I got my personal best. I'm guessing around nine pounds, eight pounds, we'll see. Uh, we'll weigh it when we get back. Uh, Mark, this one's for you, bud. I got my con fishing hat pumped. So uh, I'll see you guys back in the dock. And All right, guys, you can see this is the second wreck that we fished. So we're in 80 foot of water. You can see it comes up at its highest, almost 20 foot off the bottom. Looks like it dips down right there. That might be like a wheelhouse or something. Uh, but that's what the bottom looks like with just sand or mud. And then that's that hard bottom right there of the wreck. So now, so now watch guys, you'll see us slope right off the back end of it. Now if you're fluke fishing, this is right where you want to be, is right on this back end. That's where you're going to get most of your fluke. When you're togging, you want to be right on the edge there. Dude, that, that was your best day, right? Best day ever. That's awesome, man. So guys, that's, that's pretty cool. He's been tog fishing way longer than me. So really, best day ever, you think? Yeah, nine keepers. Nine keepers and quality too, yeah. you know what I mean? They weren't like, let's measure. 19 inches, 20 yeah. inches. It's awesome, dude. Cool. One after another there. For I know, for a while, you were boom, boom, yeah. boom. Yeah, that's great. Awesome. All right, let's get back. Let's get you back. To the All right, let's see how we did. Woo -hoo -hoo. Not too bad, team. Yeah. There's some nice ones in there too at the bottom. Let's show them the big Bertha. Yeah, there's some nice fish in there. So team, the one thing I did not divulge as of yet is as Zach and I were working diligently to try and get this sucker over the wreck, Zach's up on the bow in four foot seas. You know, he almost went in a couple times. I'm up there cursing, you know, doing intense calculations. I come down, this dude's white as a ghost, yep. vomiting. I didn't vomit. All right, almost. Almost. I was throwing up viciously <laughs> on the starboard. I went in a little, in my little tubby. <laughs> There's no slack. I went in there, a little, little bit of Gatorade. Yeah, we don't have any water. 
So my crew was a little mal damar this morning. Now, Zachy and I, you could put us in anything. You would have been sick, too. No, I'm up you, in that bridge. You go hey, up all there. All the way over here. I would have uh, been up no there. No way. Oh, my Lord. Uncle Chris, you don't get sick. So guys, ready. Reaper got it done today, man. I'm so pumped. And we're going again tomorrow. Going again tomorrow. I got to go get more green crabs. Actually, no. I had enough green crabs. We need white ligers. The Reaper team, that's my boat there. That's Reaper. If you don't know, she is a 2005 43 Ocean. It's our second full season with her. And uh, knock on wood, baby. We love this boat. Um, just hates a following sea. Hates it. Uh, but yeah, guys, look, we're at Golden Nugget Marina. Right here in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Beautiful night. It's awesome. I love fish. Now guys, you know you got a problem when you come home and uh, in your garage is uh, a couple of green crabs crawling around. That's when uh, I think you know you got yourself a little fishing problem. But uh, guys, I'm just trying to find my scale in this mess of a garage um, so I can weigh in that, that bigger fish we caught. Uh, man, this garage is a mess. All right, team, let's go ahead and take a peek at this fish. Let's see, I'm guessing eight and a half to eight pounds, 10 ounces, somewhere around there, we'll see. Wow, guys, not, not much bigger than the last one. Seven pounds, nine ounces. I thought it was gonna be much bigger. Now guys, we did bleed this one, so it would have been a little heavier. I thought it was much bigger than that. Let's see if you guys can see. 710, 79, 78. Beautiful fish nonetheless. Nice white chin. One of these days though, guys, I gotta get to my 10 pound mark, baby. Guys, this, this is hilarious. Just getting done that video, I can hear the crabs crawling around in the garage. <laughs> I can hear them. I know there's a couple down here. There are crabs everywhere. Look, look, watch this. <laughs> look, there's more, there's more. Just crawling around my garage. I love it. Good thing Alana is out to a, a Mariah Carey concert. Thank Lord. She got wind of crabs in the garage, dude. She freaked, dude. <laughs> 